Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, I'm going to tell you whether Mindtree is a good company for freshers to join or not and what all the things that you have to know about Mindtree before joining the company. As I have seen, there are very few videos about Mindtree on YouTube. So I thought this video would be useful for you so that you can uh, understand clearly before applying to Mindtree or even after getting selected if you want to go and do job in the mind tree you have to know all these about the company is what i'm uh, what you know i have expected so i just want to tell you about the company the company is a part of lnt so it's not a small company many people are thinking that it's a small company since it's not hiring in bulk it's not a small company it's a very big mnc so you need not have any uh, you worry about that so uh, i have noted some points and i'll tell you them so first thing is you have to not have any gaps in your education if you're having any gaps in your education right uh, from your 10th grade to your engineering everything should be back to back suppose if you have completed your 10th grade in 2015 you should have completed your plus 2 in 2017 if you have completed your 2000, uh, plus 2 in 2017 then your engineering must be completed by 2021 so like that no gaps should be there in your education if you're having any gaps in your education they'll directly reject you okay next number two is you should not have any backlogs in your engineering so if you're having any backlogs in your engineering they'll put they'll pause your uh, stay, you know candidature not pause or they'll be putting it in hold so once you clear your backlogs once you say them that i have cleared all my backlogs then they will consider you so if you're having any backlogs you'll not have any chance of getting into the mind tree until and unless you clear them all okay and onboarding will be done only after eight semester exams are done so once you're done with your eight semester exams so then only you'll be allowed for onboarding suppose if you are uh, because of this situation so many people are not yet done with their eight semester exams right so many people are having it in july some of them are having it uh, it in august and also they will be onboarding you only if your eight semester exams are done and your results are out you're ready with your memo in that case only and if you're not having any backlogs in that case only they'll be doing your onboarding process okay done and the next point is you have no bond here no bond no service agreement so how many days you want to work in my entry those many days you can work and then you can leave the company done next uh, promotions will start after 18 to 24 months depending on your performance so the earliest promotions will be starting at 18 months that means only after one and half year of your working there so within one year or within half year there is no chance of getting a promotion so your salary increments your promotions will start early at 18 months and it can go up to 24 months based on your performance and if your performance is not good is not up to the mark then they have a right of removing you at any point of time done and the salary they are offering you is four lakh per annum and um so deducting all the taxes and all we will be getting uh, something i mean you will be getting something around 26 27 not, i'm not sure 28 like that and yeah learning program uh, what i want to tell you about learning program is so for all the students they ca they've conducted uh, you know some campus connect kind of thing so not kind of thing it was it was a campus connect and what they said in that com campus connect was most about the learning program itself so they are very 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 focused about their learning program and they want you guys also to be very focused and your performance should be very good in the learning program so you should do it well and it is online only it will be virtual you need not go there actually you have to go to a center where like how infosys provides training in mysore like that this mind tree company will be providing their training in bhuvaneshwar campus okay so you have to go there and you have to attend but now since it's a pandemic situation no offices are open you can take this training right from your home itself okay done and you should concentrate more on that you'll have your exams uh, you'll have your mock tests everything you'll have and your performance should be good you perform and based on your performance only you'll be getting your job your joining letter your joining date your joining location or your project everything will depend on the performance that you have done in the learning program okay so after that 
ड्यूरिंग लर्निंग प्रोग्राम दे विल नॉट गिव यू एनी स्टाइपेंड दे विल बी गिविंग यू स्टाइपेंड ड्यूरिंग द ट्रेनिंग सो ड्यूरिंग द इनिशियल लर्निंग प्रोग्राम दे विल नॉट गिव यू स्टाइपेंड दे विल नॉट गिव यू एनी लैपटॉप ओके एंड देन यू विल हैव अ बेस कैम्प दे विल बी ऑर्गेनाइजिंग सम बेस कैम्प्स एज वेल बेस कैम्प इज नथिंग बट दे विल बी हैविंग सम कोडिंग चैलेंजेस एंड यू हैव टू परफॉर्म गुड इन दैट कोडिंग कोडिंग चैलेंजेस इन ऑर्डर टू गेट गुड प्रोजेक्ट्स इन ऑर्डर टू गेट अ गुड रोल to get a developer kind of role otherwise if your performance is not good you have to compromise on your role right so you have to um, perform well in that and onboarding will be done once in 2 months okay so the they are starting onboarding process on june 28 on 28th of june they are starting the onboarding process and those students who are done with their final year exams only will be onboarded so if you are not yet done with your final year exams and you are not having results in your hand there is no chance of onboarding for you again if not on june 28 your onboarding will be on on august 28 if not on august 28 it will be on october if not in october it will be december so somewhere around june to december uh, among these six months any time you can get uh, onboarded into the company but the thing is you may be selected for june 28 onboarding or 20 august 28 onboarding or october 28 onboarding we cannot say if you are not having any other option than mind tree you have to definitely wait till december done next uh, during training you will be having a stipend of 26000 rupees okay so they have calculated on based on what we don't know but they will be giving you a stipend of 26000 rupees during the training and the next thing is they have clearly mentioned that we are not hiring in bulk they are not hiring in bulk so they are hiring very less number of students and those less number of students will be very much concentrated they will be concentrating a lot on them they will be making them lot of uh, new skills and all so this is about uh, hiring laptop laptop will be given only after you join the company until then you have to manage so during the learning program you have to ma manage your own laptops your own laptops your own internet and all you have to manage and during the learning period also i as, as i said you have to manage your own laptop it should have minimum of i3 processor it can be i3 i5 i7 anything but minimum of uh, i3 processor should be there and a good operating system not corrupted version not crash version like that so you should have a um, proper genuine operating system okay done and you will be getting your joining location joining date project allocation information about your project everything you will be getting it only once after your learning program is done so all those will not be mentioned in your offer letter in your offer letter only the salary structure or only that will be mentioned your role the salary structure will be mentioned but whereas the joining date joining location and project allocation everything will be mentioned in the joining letter which will be given to you only after you complete your learning program okay and loc location preferences will be asked but they cannot assure you that we will be giving you this location only so of course they'll be asking you the location preferences you can put your preferences but at the end of the day they will be giving at the end of the day they will be giving you a location according to their business requirement and they definitely try to give you the location that you have chosen right so this is all about uh, the things that you have to know about mindtree before joining and there is a very important thing that i'm going to tell you in the last so make sure that you watch the video till the last of course obviously it's the end of the video almost more uh, one or two minutes i'll go i'm going to take that's all and resume issue uh, so many of us are having resume issue since they have sent a mail to upload your resume but after opening the portal you're not finding any option to uh, upload your resume right so they said they will be looking into it uh, they asked us to wait so let's wait and let's see and yeah so finally what i want to tell you about mindtree is mindtree is really a very good company to learn uh, that is what i came to know about what they said and that campus connect program was around for up to 1 uh, hour 15 minutes and in that 1 hour 15 minutes more than half of the time they took to explain about their learning program so that is what the priority they are giving to learning and uh, you'll be having good projects and since they are not hiring in bulk uh, so oh, very less number of staff they will be having and those staff will be concentrated very well and you will be learning you'll have a lot of chance of learning in mindtree so that is what i can tell and it is a, obviously a very good company for uh, freshers to join 
it's having a good package as well it is giving you 4 lakh per annum it is not having any bond and uh, the reason they said why we don't have any bond is people don't like to uh, people people don't feel to leave our company so that so they are having a lot of confidence which means they are really worth of it and if you are selected in mindtree then you can happily join in mindtree but still you have to consider other opportunities as well so depending you have to try to figure out what are the opportunities you have and among them mindtree is best or not or is there anything apart from mindtree which is more than more better than mindtree so you have to think and uh, you can join according to accordingly so this is what i want to uh, convey in this video because uh, you might be having a confusion of whether to join in a mindtree or not and uh, all those things and even for the um, even for my juniors who are, who will be appearing for mindtree in the next year also i think it will be helpful for them as well so that is the main intent to do this video and that's all for this video guys i hope the video is helpful for you and stay tuned to my channel for more and more updates related to this placements and thanks for watching the video i would be very much uh, thankful to you if you subscribe to my channel and also share it with your friends hit the bell icon so that you can receive notifications whenever i post a video and let's meet up soon in the next coming video and thanks